My name is Karin Arden Dreyer, and I'm an atmospheric scientist here at Texas Tech University. I'm originally from Israel, and uh, in Israel we have a lot of dust storms. And ever since I was in undergrads, I fall in love in this phenomenon of dust storms. I finished my PhD, I knew I want to expand my knowledge on aerosol particles, and I went to MIT, I did a postdoc there on a more laboratory setup. And when I finished the project at MIT, I moved to Harvard for a postdoc. And in Harvard, I designed a single cell experiment where we basically expose uh, human lung cells to aerosol particles and look at the health implication of these uh, exposure. Some of the questions we're currently trying to answer are, what are the real magnitude of dust storm that we have here in Lubbock? Here on top of Electric Engineering Building, where we have our station Eros. Eros stands for Aerosol Research Observation Station. This station has two components. One of them is the Harvard Impactor. The Harvard Impactor is a, a setup that we measure aerosol particles on filter. We measure PM2.5 and PM10. These are particulate matter up to 2.5 micron and 10 micron. We can then take the filter to the lab and analyze them for chemical composition. We can observe the particle and see what we had in the air. These measurements are for 24 hours, but inside our shed, Eros, we have different instrumentation that measures side distribution, total concentration, and also PM every minute. This gives us a very fine look on the aerosol concentration that we have here in Lubbock. For example, when the big habu passed by, it's very quickly, but with this station, we can monitor the changes of aerosol concentration uh, during this uh, dust storm, and we can understand better what would be the health implication and implication in general for us living here during these dust storms. The problem when we have a lot of dust storm is the fact that there's a lot of particles, but a lot of them are very small. And with the station, we're able to know how small they are. So we have like, we have the perfect lab, atmospheric lab here in Lubbock with all our dust storms. Um, also with the unique technique that I developed, um, this is something that only exists at Texas Tech. Uh, when we expose aerosol particles to cells and then look at a single cell level to look on the health implication, this is something that currently only being done here. In my lab, I have uh, dust samples from all over the world. We have dust samples from Africa, from uh, Asia, from Australia. Um, and with these dust storms, we're trying to understand what are the similarity and differences that we have between these different dust storms all over the world, and mainly what is the differences in health implication. Because we know from the literature that some dust storms cause health problems, while others don't. So we're trying to understand why, what's on these particles that can make uh, these differences, and what can that tell us on the dust storm that we have here. My name is Karin Ardendreyer. In the College of Art and Science, we build innovators.